late in rapid on the narrow seas. The good ones, I think they call the place. Very black and barren, where the many a tall ship lie buried, as they say, if my gossip report be an honest woman of her word. Why would she were as lying in gossip, and that as ever that ginger, or made her neighbours believe she wept for the death of the third husband? But it is true. Without any slips of prolixity, or crossing the plain my way of talk, the good Antonio, the honest Antonio, heard that I had a title good enough to keep his name company. Come, the full stop! But what says that? Why, the end is, he had lost a ship. I would admit it might be the end of his losses. Let me say amen to times, lest the devil cross my prayer, because here he comes, in the likeness of a Jew. <laughs> now, now, Shylock. What news among the merchants? You knew, none so well, none so well as you, of my daughter's flight. <laughs> That's certain. I for one knew the tale that made the wings she flew with all. And Charlotte, for his own part, knew the bird was fled. <laughs> and that it is the complexion of them all to leave the damned. She is damned for it! <laughs> That's certain that the devil may be her judge. Oh, my own flesh and blood to rebel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Karen, rebels in it, these years. I say, my daughter is my flesh and my blood. More difference between thy flesh and hers than between jet and ivory. More between thy blood and hers than between red, white, and reddish. But tell us, do you hear whether Antonio hath any loss at sea or no? Ah, there I have another bad match. A bankrupt, oh. a prodigal, who dare scarce show his head upon the Rialto. A beggar that used to come so smug upon the mart. Let him look to his bond. He was wont to call me usurer. Let him look to his bond. He was wont to lend out money for Christian courtesy. Let him look to his bond. Why, if he forfeit, thou shalt not take his flesh. What's that good for? To uh, bait fish with all. Oh. If it will feed nothing else, it will feed my revenge. He hath disgraced me, and hindered me half a million, laughed at my losses, <coughs> mocked my gains, scorned my nation, thwarted my bargains, cooled my friends, and heated my enemies. And what's his reason? I am a Jew. Hath not, hath not a Jew eyes, hath not a Jew hands, organs, uh, dimensions, senses, affections, passions, Fed with the same food, hurt with the same weapons, uh, subject to the same diseases, and healed by the same means, warm and cool by the same winter and summer as a Christian is. If you prick us, uh, do we not bleed in it? If you tickle us, do we not laugh? If you poison us, do we not die? And if you wrong us, shall we not revenge? If we are like you in the rest, we will resemble you in that. If a Jew wrong a Christian, what is his humility? Revenge. If a Christian wrong a Jew, what should his sufferance be by Christian example? Revenge. The villainy you teach me, I will execute, and it shall go hard. But I will better the instruction. Gentlemen. My master Antonio is at his house, and desires to speak with you both. Uh, we've been up and down to see him. Here comes another of the tribe. The third cannot be matched, unless the devil himself turned Jew. Oh, no, Tubal. What news from Genoa? That's how far my daughter? I often kind of ride to hear of her, but cannot find her. Well, why there? There, 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 there. Oh, the diamond horn. Cost me two thousand ducats in Frankfurt. Oh, the curse never fell upon our nation till now. I never felt it till now. Two thousand ducats. And other, other precious, precious jewels. I would. My daughter were dead at my foot and the jewels in her ear. I would she were hearsed at my foot and the ducats in her coffin. No news of them. So, and I know not what is spent in the search. Uh, uh, why, thou loss upon loss? The thief gone.
on with so much and so much for to find the thief. And no satisfaction, no, no revenge, no, no, no ill luck stirring but what lights on my shoulders, no sighs but of my breathing and no tears but of my shame. Yes, other men have ill luck too. Yeah. Antonio, as I heard in Genoa. What, 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 ill luck, ill luck. Hath an Argosy cast away coming from Tripolis. I thank God, thank God. Is it true, is it true? I spoke with some of the sailors who escaped the rack. I thank thee. Good jewel. <laughs> good news, good news. I heard in Genoa. Yeah. Your daughter mm -hmm. spent huh? in Genoa, so I heard, one night, mm -hmm. four score ducats. Thou stickest a dagger in me. I shall never see my gold again. Four score ducats have a sitting. Four score ducats. There came divers of Antonio's creditors in my company to Venice, who swear he cannot choose but break. Mm, well, I am glad of it. I will torture him, and I will plague him. I am glad of it. One of them showed me a ring of your daughter's that he had from us. Out, out upon her. How torturous me too, all that was my turquoise. I had it of my dearest Leah when I were a, a bachelor. I, would not have given it for a, a, a wilderness of monkeys. But Antonio is certainly unknown. Nay, that's true. That is very true. <sighs> Go, Chubal, and be me an officer. Bespeak him a fortnight before. I will have the heart of him if he forfeit. For were he out of Venice, I could make what merchandise I will. Go, good Chubal, and meet me at our synagogue. Go, good Chubal, at our synagogue, Chubal. <laughs> 